Hi everyone, I'm Chris Holbert, and this is the first in a series of screencasts that will take you through the Swift Education curriculum. So firstly, you'll want to go to the swifteducation.github.io website, and this is a curriculum that was put together by a university and also blessed by Apple. And first you want to see this link here, view the course materials, follow that. And there's various levels here, level one, level two, level three. We're gonna start on level one today, and we're gonna start on the word collage lessons. There are four lessons making up word collage. We'll just go through lesson one today. What you want to do is click on here and here. I've already done that, so I won't be clicking there now. And you will download the following files. Here's those zip files. So let's get started. So we'll unzip the flashlight one to start with. It will unzip the following files. You would probably just want to double click the flashlight.xcode proj. However, I have got two versions of Xcode installed, so I have to right click, open with, and choose Xcode 6.3. And here we go. We've opened the project in Xcode. Firstly, let's see what it looks like when we run it in the Xcode simulator. So you click the play button, or also known as the run button in the top left of the toolbar, and wait a while. And here's our simulator. There's nothing much to see here. You can use the window menu to set the scale. If you view it at one to one, it's gonna be obviously quite large because the iPhone 6 has got quite a big screen. So you'll probably want to run it at 50% or whatever, depending on how big your screen is on your Mac. Okay, let's talk about keyboard shortcuts. You can use Command Tab to switch between Xcode and the simulator. Hold down the Command button and press Tab, and then let go of Command again to make your selection. Once you're in Xcode and the simulator is running, you can either press the Stop button to kill the simulator or command dot. Notice that the stop button has now grayed out. That's because it's not running anymore and there's nothing to stop. And to start the simulator, you can either click here or do, or do command R. And that launches the app in the simulator. Let's show you the different parts of Xcode. This top area here, this is the toolbar. This area on the left here, which you can toggle by clicking here, is known as the navigator area. This first tab in the navigator area is where all your files are. So we can expand that. And here's a couple of Swift files that Xcode has generated. Down the bottom, this is the debug area. This area here where you can see the code, this is called the editor area. And on the right, this is the utility area. You can toggle the utility area with this button and you can toggle the debug area with that button or this one here. Okay, let's close this project and go to the other one. I'll also kill the simulator. We'll unzip that and open the project. Again, I have to explicitly choose my version of Xcode. Okay, that's loaded, now let's run it. And here we can see it running. As you can see, it's a collage of words, hence the name Word Collage. So let's stop that and have a look at the files. Let's look in main.storyboard. Storyboard files are used to store the user interface and allow you to edit them visually. There's an important button down here used for showing and hiding the document outline. If you click that, you can use that to make sure you can see all the structure within your storyboard file. In many ways, this is similar to the file navigator, but this is 
only for things within that storyboard. Let's change the text of a label. We can double click that and change this to somewhere else. Now let's run the project and you can see this will be different in the simulator once it fires up. As you can see, it's now Italy. Now let's play around with some of the other labels. Run for president, that seems a bit optimistic. Let's run for vice president. That's much more likely, right? Becoming a great artist, let's be, opti let's be realistic. Become a lousy artist, I can do that. Fall in love. Well, that happened, so I'm not going to change that. I've got two and a half children. My wife's pregnant. Learn to cook. I can already cook. I'm going to change that. Learn to skydive, which is never going to happen because I'm scared of heights. But hey, why not? Now, you might be tempted to click this run button all the time, but get out of the habit of doing so because that'll slow you down and use command R instead. And here you go. Travel to Italy, run for vice president, become a lousy artist. This is all sounding quite negative, except for the thing I said about love before. <laughs> and learn to skydive. Thanks for watching. Hope you got a uh, bit of an insight on how to use Xcode. See you in the next screencast.